I will take my stand to watch and station myself on the tower and look forth to see what he will say to me and what I will answer concerning my complaint. And the Lord answered me, write the vision, make it plain upon the tablets so he may run who reads it. For still the vision awaits its time. It hastens to the end, it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come, it will not delay. Behold, he whose soul is not upright in him shall fail, but the righteous shall live by his faith. Moreover, wine is treacherous. The arrogant man shall not abide. His greed as wide as shale. Like death, he has never enough. He gathers for himself all nations and collects as his own his people. Shall not all these take up their taunt against him in scoffing derision of him and say, Woe to him who heaps up what is not his own for, and for how long, and loads himself with pledges. Will not your debtors suddenly arise and those awake who will make you tremble? Then you will be booty for them, because you have plundered many nations. All the remnant of the people shall plunder you. For the blood of men and violence to the earth, to cities and all who dwell therein. Today we see the stone watchtower and read the poetic warnings of the prophet Habakkuk. Habakkuk was likely active around the same time as the prophet Jeremiah and also suffered through the distressing lead up to the Babylon exile. Jeremiah wept, but Habakkuk shouted. He cried out against the evils he saw and asked God why he did not punish the evildoers. God told Habakkuk that the unrest around him was a result of human sin and that the solution was to wait and trust in God's plan. Waiting is never easy, but during Advent, as we wait for the coming of Christmas, we get a small taste of the very long period of expectation that preceded the birth of Jesus. It was through the prophets that God sustained Israel's hope in the coming of the Messiah. We are waiting again, this time in hope for the second coming, when Jesus will return as universal judge. O oh God, all time and all creation are yours. Give us the patience to wait in joyful hope for the salvation accomplished by Jesus Christ to the realized in his fullness. Amen.